Hi, I'm going to show everybody how um, you can actually follow somebody on threads now that Meta has announced this week that they are fully rolling out the Fediverse compatibility with threads. All right, um, so here is my threads account. Uh, it's um, threads.net at Dave the web guy. Now, Having established that I do have an account, how do I follow this if I'm on Mastodon? All right, so let's go to mastodon.social. I'm going to go ahead and log in. I like literally just created this account about 20 minutes ago. Okay, now I'm in my Mastodon account. As I said, I, I created this about 20 minutes ago, so there's no content here. And from here, I'm going to show you how you can now follow somebody on threads. It's important to point out that I, on threads, have activated the Fediverse option. Those tutorials on how to do that are pretty abundant on uh, the web right now, so just use your favorite search engine to zero in on that. What I am going to show you, though, is how uh, you can subscribe to my example self on threads from Mastodon. So here we go. Find the URL on threads of the individual that you want to join. Log into your Mastodon account as I have done. And I'm going to try this first. I don't think this will work, but I might be surprised. That didn't work. Let's try it with just at Dave the web guy. That did, ah, look at that. Here we are on Mastodon. We're not logged into threads at all, but when you do a search on my threads username, I do in fact come up as a search result within Mastodon. And I can now follow this individual, AKA me in this case, on Mastodon. And there it is. I don't know how it looks within Mastodon. Let's click on my name. Interestingly enough, it says that older posts from other servers are not displayed. So I think that means, if I'm interpreting this properly, that any um, post that I make via threads today and moving forward now that I'm following will show up that's just a theory or at least a hope so let's log into my threads account log in and let's make a post For some reason, I feel the need to be grammatically correct in social media. What can I tell you? I'm not even a boomer. I'm like whatever came after the boomers. <laughs> but I still feel like I have to do it. All right. I am creating a post uh, on threads. Paraphrasing there. Will it show up on Mastodon? Post. It's posted. And within threads, I certainly see it. The question is, do I see it on Mastodon? And I have to assume that there could be some sort of a lag or some sort of a delay uh, propagating to other servers. So maybe it's not going to appear, but maybe it will in a while, in which case I'll just stop the video and then resume it when it does. But let's see if we get lucky. Yeah, it's not here yet. So the Fediverse is vast, free, and open, eh, but it's also a little slow. So I'm going to pause my recording, and we're going to see if it, uh, it does show up eventually. Okay, it's been a few minutes now. Let's see if my post from Threads now shows up on Mastodon. I'm going to do a simple refresh in my own complex refreshing way. Yes, there it is. So. That took approximately five minutes, 
for my post on threads itself to reflect on Mastodon. So there you have it, a complete example of how to follow people now on threads if you're using a um, non-threads Fediverse outlet server, um, however you want to refer to it, uh, easily, at least on Mastodon then, because maybe the interfaces for the others are different. But I think, I think the bigger point here is that uh, the Fediverse is uh, open and Threads is now part of the, the Fediverse. So when you make a post to Threads, which you may do for all the advantages that maybe a, a corporation like Meta offers, it will reflect on the uh, Fediverse. And at some point, you may want to take that data off Threads and all that data will still be here. You don't lose your history of posts by simply jumping off of meta threads to some other server. So anyway, those who are excited about the Fediverse or excited about meta's threads, uh, well, you get the idea and I hope that uh, this has been of some help.